Hello. In this tutorial for Code.org's App Lab environment, we are going to learn how to import a column of data from a table. We're going to do it in block mode. However, if you want to learn how to do it in text mode instead, check out the link in the video description or click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The first thing we have to do is we have to import the table itself. So let's go to data. Let's pick a topic. Let's say culture and entertainment. And let's open Oscar winners. And then we're going to import this table. So right now we only have one table in our app and it's called Oscar winners. Let's look inside this table and see what we have. So we've got a variety of rows. Each of these rows is an entry. And then each row has a value in each of the columns. We can scroll down to see more rows. Now, I want to pull out this column that has all the nominees. So it starts with Jack Nicholson, then George Burns, and then so on. So I need to make sure I remember the title of this column exactly, including any capitalization or spaces. So it's nominee with a capital N. And let's go back and look at the table name again. And we need to remember this Oscar winners, capital O, capital W, and then there's a space in between. So now we're going to go back to code. We need to create a variable that's going to store that column we're pulling out in an array. So let's go to show toolbox. Let's go to variables. So we're going to create a new variable and set it equal to something. So I'm going to drag this here. I'm going to call it names. Now in here, we got to set that equal to something. So we're going to go to data. We're going to grab git column. And you can see it needs two things from us. It needs the name of the table and the name of the column. To make a little more room, I'm going to close the toolbox. So let's go back to data so we can remember the name of the table. Table name was Oscar winners. I'm actually going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste it inside here. We got to make sure we still got those quotation marks there. Then the name of the column we're taking, let's go back and look at that again. So I'm going to highlight this again by clicking and dragging, then control C to copy it, or I could just remember it. Then I'm going to go to code. I'm going to select this. I'm going to paste it. Again, making sure that it's inside those quotation marks. So now we are importing that column called nominee from the table Oscar winners. And it's going to put it in an array called names. If you want to learn more of the ins and outs of how arrays work, click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now we see this is giving us a warning. So let's see what the warning is. It says names is defined, but it's not called in your program. That's OK, because we're going to use names later. So let's print out the data in the variable names into the console to make sure we retrieved it correctly. So we're going to go to Show Toolbox. Now we're going to go to Variables. We're going to scroll down until we see console.log, drag that to our next line. And we're going to print out what's in names. Now here, we do not want it in quotation marks. Because if we put names in quotation marks, it is literally going to print out the word names. We don't want that. We want it to print out what's inside the variable names. So we're going to get rid of the quotation marks. And now we're going to run it again, and it prints off the data inside the variable. Let's go up to the top and check it out, and there we go. We've got all the names of the Oscar winners. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.